Mental wellness is the capacity to handle the normal pressures, stresses, conflicts, and expectations of everyday life. But what about those who may not have that capacity? In fact, some of us are wired differently. In any given school setting, 20% of the students experience difficulty handling the normal issues of life, as defined by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM. 20%. In a school of 1,000 students, 200 children are experiencing a lack of mental wellness on some level. In addition, another 16% of the student population is considered borderline for meeting criteria and qualifying for a DSM label. Okay, everybody pull your books out. Okay, we're going to get started. Hey, Molly, it's time to go sit down. I'm not sitting down. No, listen, we're done with this. Students dealing with certain mental wellness issues may come across as uncooperative, intentionally disruptive, causing frustration and anxiety in those who work with or around them. Common misunderstandings include, the student is daydreaming, wasting time. The student is intentionally being disobedient. The student doesn't try to get along with others. The student isn't listening to the teacher, and the student knows better. Often, traditional practices employed to deal with uncooperative or disruptive students fail when applied to those afflicted with mental wellness issues. Most teachers' instinct is to deal quickly and efficiently with unwanted behaviors and attitudes from students. Everybody, that's enough. Everybody, let's focus. Let's get back to our math. Okay. Students with challenges may be put on edge with constant reactive discipline. When other students react positively to this form of management, which can include a raised voice, moving closer to a student, reminding the student of the rules and consequences, etc., a student with mental wellness issues can become very confused and frustrated. Many times, when dealing with students with disorders, traditional means of classroom management and correction are neither lasting nor beneficial for the student, teacher, or school. Any effective management of such complex behaviors usually takes a package approach of several ideas over an extended period of time. This package approach could include any of the following. An atmosphere that is calm, predictable, welcoming, and organized. Clear and consistent behavior expectations, including practices to encourage expected behavior while discouraging undesired behavior. Specific awareness and insight into the student and their situation. Individual class and school prevention. Debriefings to minimize the ineffective and maximize effective actions. Teamwork involving the school, family, students, and others. Counseling and or therapy. Coaching and possible medications. Author and nationally known school behavior consultant Mike Paget recommends five universal keys for working with students who have a wide variety of mental wellness challenges. The five keys are essential for allowing educators to work with all the students that come into a school. About 20% of kids in most schools have some type of risk factor going on and the five keys are useful for all but essential for those 20%. Here are five keys for helping students with mental wellness challenges. Owning who you are. Reasonable accommodations. Prevention. No stigma allowed. And a positive and welcoming climate. Whether your students suffer from severe anxiety disorders, Asperger's, early onset bipolar, or other DSM issues, knowing the five keys to classroom disorder intervention can be helpful to classroom management. Another great day today, Andre. All right. Owning who you are begins with helping the student to learn about their temperament, their personality, and their unique cognitive and emotional needs. It's helping the student to know and understand their uniqueness in a positive way. No, this is my book. 
I'm just wondering. Right. Okay. Malachi, I need you to no, sit no. up. Teaching students to know when they are getting overly emotional about a situation will help them to be able to control an emotional response or prevent it altogether.